tell me, can Qatar go far? Because you are champions of this competition. I mean, I believe so. Yeah, we won 2019. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know if we'll win 2023. But if we do, we're going to party. And we're partying hard. <laughs> yeah, you saw that right. That was not clickbait or insane Premiere Pro skills. I don't even use Premiere Pro to edit. You just saw your boy, Khalid Qatata, in a Thogden video. Now, in case you're one of the few people who somehow don't know who Thogden is, Thogden is what I would consider the best football YouTuber in the world today. Not only does he have incredibly good opinions on most of the stuff going on in football right now, like in terms of like player signings, Premier League teams, and their position, he's also like an extremely good vlogger. Like, especially when he goes to, to, to football matches, whether it's the Euros, World Cup, or friendly matches in Morocco, which keep popping off. He always finds a way to make it captivating and really shows what it's like to really be in the audience. And I know a lot of people hate him for like, oh, you take opportunities away from people who get to see the game. Bro, watching these videos is a close second. When I watched that Morocco versus Brazil video, it almost felt like I was there in the stadium with over 60,000 people. Do you know how good you need to be to captivate somebody like that? That's huge levels of talent. And let's just say I've admired this guy for a while. I've been watching him probably since 2020 or 2021. And I've watched a good amount of his content ever since. So let's just say I love this guy. And me going to the opening match, Qatar Lebanon, for the Asian Cup 2023, for I knew he was going to be there because Lucille Stadium is where a certain person by the name of Lionel Messi lifted the most coveted prize in football history. And a certain Thugden's favorite football player of all time, just like me, is Leo Messi. So you see, Thuggy boy, we have a lot in common. So I knew he was going to be there, but I was not going out of my way to find him. I, th I thought it was going to be like an I show speed situ situation where, oh, he's going to be there, but I probably won't see him because he'll probably be like in the VIP area. But no, he was out there interviewing fans. And when I saw the perfect opportunity, I went up to him and it was immediately joy. Like, bro, Thogden, you are an absolute champ, mate. And as you can see, I took this picture with him. And yeah, like, just so you guys know, the videos don't lie. Like, Theo, you're an absolute champ, mate. You are so nice and you were... You had no issues with telling your cameraman to start recording and let me be in your video. And the fact that I was in the video, like I'll just put some uh, stuff right now. Like I predicted that uh, Qatar would beat Lebanon 2-0. They beat them 3-0, three, three but I did a bit of a clever punchline, which I'll put in the screen now. You know what? I'm going to reverse a little bit. Qatar uh, lost to Ecuador 2-0. Qatar will beat Lebanon 2-0. And Thogden recognized that right after the goal happened. Like, I'll show you what literally happened just a few seconds before that clip was shown. So, one of the fans said to us before the match, they lost 2-0 in the opening match against Ecuador, and they're going to win 2-0 in this one. And so far, it's looking good. They are in pole position. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Like, Theo, like, thank you so much for letting me be in that video. And letting me be like, I would say a bit of a, besides the, the football footage, I would say it was a pretty big part of the video. And that's all thanks to you and your cameraman for being absolute champs. <laughs> so thank you very much, brother. And please keep up the good work. And hopefully I get to see you when I go to another match. Who knows? We, we, we can run it back round two. I, I'm all for it, bro. Let's get it. <laughs>